Okay, I'm going to quickly um, demonstrate how to create an exam with images if you would like to create a lab exam for your course. Um, so you go to your McGraw-Hill Connect course site and you're going to add an assignment and then um, I click on question bank and then I cancel the question bank to get to the assignment where I can create a question um, from scratch. So you click create a question and then for the type of question I like fill in the blank um, because I don't give my students a word bank um, and this requires them to type the um, structure in from memory. So then it opens up the question and you might write something like identify the structure um, at the tip of the arrow, for example. Um, and then to add an image into McGraw-Hill, you actually have to download um, the picture that you want to use um, with the media tab up here. So here's the question tab, media tab. Um, you're going to choose your file. So I have lots of uh, images. I'm happy to share those with anyone. They have arrows on them. Um, but for example, just pick this first one, which is an image um, of the interior of the base of the skull um, arteries. And this is pointing to the anterior uh, communicating artery. So you can see that the file has been selected because the anterior communicating artery is written there. So I'll click upload. And then um, description if you want. insert and now you can see the file is ready. So if I go back to my question, um, I can now insert that image by clicking on the image um, icon, the little mountain with the sun in the background. And when you go to the image info, the image should be there. So you click the drop down menu um, and you can see your image here. It's very large. Um, and then click OK. Um, this is a large image, so I would resize it. I mean, let's see. Maybe you actually have to resize the file. So then you can type in um, the correct answer. And if there's more than one correct answer, you can add uh, more. And it, it will auto grade, but I usually check those just the same as I do with Blackboard. Click Save and then you can exit and then the question should um, appear. So um, actually that size of the image is just fine. So identify the structure at the tip of the arrow and then um, this is the answer and the student would have to type that into, into the box.